you know, I think these vessels are kind of a smoking gun to, to something more significantly advanced going on in very ancient times in that a lot of these are pre-dynastic. We know they've been around yeah. since before the dynastic Egyptian star, uh, civilization started. You don't care who's right necessarily. You just want to get to the right answers. That There's been an interesting new paper talked about the fact that these pyramid sites were all built along what they've now discovered was, is an extinct branch of the Nile called the Aramat branch that would mm -hmm. have only existed during the African humid period that ended, you know, nearly 6,000 years ago. And I think it'd be really interesting is if, if we could apply, you know, some of these new space-based satellite technologies that, that are able to penetrate through material to, to scan for that, look at where the ancient lake basins and river systems might have been in the Sahara and to look there because uh, if you were, if you, if there was a civilization that existed during that period, then they wouldn't have just been limited to the Nile Valley. I think it would have been all over uh, that part of uh, Northern Africa. We think that the the Tower of Babel should actually have been in Mesopotamia, but there is no proof that it was there. They never found it. Hmm. And actually it should be in the land of Cush because that's how it's described in the Bible. Hmm. And it should be next to the river Gihon. Well, Josephus from Mauro map, of 1457, Josephus the scholar, as well as Herodotus all said that the Nile was the river Gihon. 